I had watched and read extensive coverage of the Haitian earthquake since January and thought I knew what to expect, thought I had a grasp on the situation. I was wrong. Seeing Haiti with my own eyes really was shocking, almost too much to take in. Our logistical coordinator, Rachel Turner, explained, it is nearly impossible to consider the big picture at this point. This is the way I process it. The way we help a country is one person at a time. Because if you start looking at the big, big picture, it's too much. It's too much. There's an entire country devastated. They are starving. This country had very, very little before the earthquake. These people had very little before the earthquake. Now, after the earthquake, they've lost what little they had. But then what can one team of a couple of dozen volunteers do anyway? Uh, doing as much as we can and just a drop in the bucket. There is so much need um, for construction, for destruction. What we're doing now is taking stuff down that could hurt people, building stuff back that wouldn't hurt people feeding people, clothing people, giving people shelter, and just really giving people hope. In just one week, our SCORE International crew teamed up with the Haiti Gospel Mission and got quite a bit of work accomplished. Repairs to a school would mean children would be safe when school started back in March. Tweaking a water filtration system installed by an earlier mission group means clean water for an entire community. A group of the men cleared land for two houses and laid the cement foundation for one of those houses. Finally, our group prepared bags of food to distribute to more than 2,000 people. At first it's overwhelming, you don't know what to do, there's really nothing you can do. I'm not a carpenter, I'm not a construction guy, I'm not a medic, I mean I'm, I'm just some dude that sits in an office. But uh, knowing that I can put my heart, my effort, my energy behind what other people are doing. SCORE has a presence on the ground. They know these people, they work with these people, they have infrastructure, they have distribution channels open, they have logistics in place. And on my own, I can do nothing but getting behind other people that know the Haitians. And what we're here to do is work for the Haitians, support the Haitians, support the local organizations that are in place. I don't have to do it myself. All I have to do is put my energy behind the wheel that's already rolling. This may have been the most immediately impactful thing we accomplished during our week in Haiti. When we arrived to the clinic we would use as a distribution center, there were hundreds of people already gathered around. They were packed in like sardines and had obviously been waiting for some time. I was a bit nervous at first having heard about the out-of-control mobs on the national news. But it didn't take long to realize these people were not angry, crazed, and definitely not dangerous. These were families, men, women, and children, and they were all just hungry, and that's all. They had waited for hours for the small bag of food we had to give them, and that was probably only going to feed them for a day, but they were so grateful to have it. That's when I realized this is why we're here. From Haiti, Rebecca Cruz, Pulse News.